Once upon a time, there was an orphan named Harry Potter, who was left in a basket on his aunt and uncle's doorstep. Harry's aunt and uncle were unkind and made him live in the cupboard under the stairs. His aunt made him do all of the chores. He even had to wash her dirty socks. One day, Harry received a letter inviting him to attend dog warts. He was no ordinary dog. Harry was a wizard. No dog can go to school without supplies. Harry went through a magic fireplace to get to Doggone Alley. Shopping was such fun. He bought piles of books and even a magic wand. Harry's favorite purchase was his trusty owl headwing. With books and wand and paw, Harry went straight to school. Dogwarts was amazing. He even learned to fly a magic broom. Everything at Dogwarts was magical, even the staircases. Quidditch was a popular sport at Dogwarts, and Harry was very good at it. He made the Griffin Dog Quidditch team as a first year. Potter won the game against Slobberin when he found the Golden Stitch. Dogwarts was fun. But it had a mystery. Someone was trying to steal the sorcerer's bone. Harry had to find it. He looked everywhere. Young Potter found a secret door, but it was guarded by a three-headed dog. Harry played him a song to put him to sleep. The bone still wasn't there. Harry ran through a flurry of flying keys. The bone was close, but Potter could feel someone evil nearby. He was so scared he had to hide. It was the evil wizard, Baldogmore. He was trying to return to Dogwarts. Harry was brave and took his stand. With lightning speed, he countered Valdogmore's attacks. Dog more defeated, Harry Potter could finally find the sorcerer's bone. He was so excited that Dogwarts was safe once more.